Falls in Jamaica is a set of 21 widely spaced small cascades of waterfalls and gentle pools, which is a perfect place for somebody who wants to enjoy wild nature without having to share it with other people. The thing is, out of 100 waterfalls in Jamaica, there are several unique features about Mayfield Falls. It's not so much about a waterfall to sightsee, but more of a waterfall to play with. My name is Irina and I live in Jamaica. As a part of Jamaica Video Guide series, we're working on covering every single attraction on this beautiful island. If you're looking for amazing things to do in Montego Bay or things to do in Negril, you might want to consider adding Mayfield Falls to your bucket list. It is indeed a hidden treasure located in a rainforest at the edge of Westmoreland and Hanover Parish. Once you enter the property, you will descend a series of steps to the main starting point of the tour. This is Dwight, the experienced tour guide at Mayfield Falls. Parts of Mayfield Falls are pretty calm and shallow. This means anyone can take this nature walk through the river. The water is extremely refreshing and the setting is absolutely beautiful. At Mayfield Falls you feel like you are in a jungle. There are lush plants everywhere. But what makes this place such a great experience is the option for a range of activities. There are so many things to try, yet you don't really need to be fit for any of them. First, you can climb the little falls. Once you feel more comfortable in water, check out the water massage, which they call a natural jacuzzi. As you walk along the river, your guide will point out the various flora and fauna indigenous to the area. Yeah. We as human, we can suck on this sea like a sweet. It carry a candy product outside. It's mm -hmm. good for your lungs. So when you break it, you see the chocolate. Rich mountain soil surrounding Mayfield Falls keeps plants thriving no matter what time of the year you arrive. This beautiful bathtub is an awesome place to relax if you manage to get comfortable in the right spot, just like so. Otherwise, it's a bit tricky to keep the balance as the water pushes you off the little smooth rock. One of the romantic things you can do if you're with a special someone is to go behind one of the waterfalls for some cool shots. The level of physical activity at this stage is considered medium, but many non-athletic people get through it quite fine and if you're worried it would be too difficult to walk, Mayfield tour guides are there to help anyone who needs it.
Now, this is where it can be challenging for those who are a bit claustrophobic. Just to make it clear, you're going down underwater, squeezing through a small dark cave, hoping that the water current will push you out. I'm a good swimmer, but here I was worried, what if I get stuck halfway in the cave underwater with no air to breathe? This little spike of adrenaline, our relaxing nature walk suddenly began turning into a true rainforest adventure. As we were approaching the main attraction, known as the washing machine, it began raining and we noticed a few tourists in the distance running out of water and going back fast. Our guide also offered us to go back, but hey, who cares about the rain? This is rainforest, and we're wet anyway, so we just carried on. The washing machine waterfall has its name because, well, it's like being in a washing machine. Just look at that. And as we came out after the laundry, I guess, nice and clean, it turned out it was not just the rain anymore. It was a proper, proper thunderstorm. Okay guys, we all know it's not the best idea to be in water when there is thunder and lightning happening all over the place, so obviously we had to get out fast. However, at that time, more than anything, I was worried about my camera getting wet. Not the GoPro, but the big one. Luckily Dwight had the solution and it worked! There are not many negatives with Mayfield Falls, but only if you know what to expect. I can totally see how the misleading photos or articles can set you up for a disappointment. For example, when you search for Mayfield Falls at Google, you'll see some pictures of Wyas Falls or Downs River Falls. 
that obviously look nothing like Mayfield Falls. In fact, as you could see, Mayfield Falls are not about the height of the waterfalls. The tallest cascade, which is the washing machine, is just under 10 feet tall. This is 3 meters. However, by now you should understand what I meant in the beginning when I said it's not so much about the waterfall to sightsee, but more of a waterfall to play with. So the first point is to get your expectations right. The second point is to realize that you won't be able to take an awesome photo of the waterfalls. Because they're so stretched out along the river, it's impossible to have one shot of all the cascades. And hence, none of the photos or even videos, including this one, do any justice to the place. This natural setting is all about the experience and having fun, but it will not work as much if the goal is to show off at an Instagram. So this place is certainly for people who are after best memories rather than best photos. Getting to Mayfield Falls can be very easy if you know which roads to use. So make sure you get an experienced driver, or if you're renting a car, get proper directions from somebody who does know how to get there. Just to give you an example, this is what the proper road to Mayfield Falls looks like. And this is what you get if you decide to take a shortcut or follow directions from Google Maps. for the video just to show how bad the bad roads can be. So just don't use them. Take the proper way. If you're coming from Montego Bay, it would be this one. And the last thing to mention here is the actual entrance location. Currently, there are several landowners offering Mayfield Falls tours. For example, there is a large Jamaican tour company called Chuka that opened up their location at Mayfield Falls and have a separate property and entrance fees. But we went with the other one, called the original Mayfield Falls. The entrance fees with them are 20 US dollars per adult or 700 Jamaican dollars if you're local. And there are discounts for kids. They have a beautiful property, changing rooms and bathrooms to use, and there are also lockers for your items. The original Mayfield Falls is where you get an access to this beautiful bamboo bridge, leading across the Mayfield River right onto their property. The journey to Mayfield Falls typically will not be a short one. Consider it as a day trip with a great chance to see other parts of the island. This drive will have you winding through small towns going up and down in the mountains. So as you travel to the place, make sure to pay attention to viewing the different scenery. These are the parts of Jamaica that most visitors don't get to see. The guided excursions at the waterfalls will take about one hour. But you can tip your guide and then stay there for longer if you wish and relax in some of the pools. If you are staying in Ocherias, Port Antonio or Kingston, Maple Falls will not be the best option for you simply because they are too far. But if you're planning fun nature activities in Montego Bay, Negril or Treasure Beach, then Maple Falls can be a fantastic option to consider for a beautiful day out. I will leave the link in the description for the exact location of Maple Falls and the contact details if you wish to book the tour. I hope you have enjoyed this little rainforest adventure and if so, please make sure to give it a like. My name is Irina and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.